in today's class we will learn about problems on fourier series the problem is obtain the fourier series of the function f of x is equal to 2x minus x square in x greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 2 hello students in today's lecture we'll see the problems on fourier series the problem is obtain the fourier series of f of x is equal to 2x minus x square in x greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 2 so you can observe here so this is an arbitrary period means this is a period of 2l so what it is we'll see now solution so the given function is f of x is equal to 2x minus x square in the interval 0 comma 2 so in the interval what we have here 0 comma 2 now we'll uh, simplify this now so for this we'll test first uh, the given function is e1 or odd or any other function here so we'll test so here here given interval is given interval is what here 0 comma 2 will compare with what here 0 comma 2l 0 comma 2l is standard so I can say that so from this we can find the value of l so therefore we have 2l is nothing but this is lower limit uh, lower value and upper value so upper value that is upper value minus lower value so which is nothing but so I have taken upper value minus lower value here so therefore because it is period 2l we have to take 2l is equal to find the value of l this is must we need to apply this so therefore 2l is equal to 2 minus 0 which is nothing but 2l is equal to 2 or or I can say that l value is 1 so we got the value of l now so this is must in this kind of problems here so once we got now we'll test for the given function for even and odd now to test even and odd the given function f of x is equal to 2x minus x square so here we need to replace uh, 0 to 2l need to replace what here replace x by 2l minus x okay always remember if it is uh, 0 to 2 pi we need to replace 2 pi minus x if it is uh, only minus pi 2 or plus uh, so replace x by 2l minus x so what happens we'll see so f of 2l minus x is equal to is equal to 2 into x will be replaced by 2l minus x minus 2l minus x square so now but we know that the value of l is 1 so i will replace here so f of 2 into 1 is 2 minus x is equal to 2 into 2 into l value is 1 2 into 1 is 2 so 2 minus x minus so this will become 2 minus x square whole square so therefore so what we'll do here so on simplification from this we'll take 2 minus x common among these two terms so I'll take 2 minus x common so what left inside from this we'll get 2 minus so this is 2 minus x square so one times I have taken outside so one time is left here 2 minus x so which is nothing but 2 minus x so on simplification so 2 minus 2 minus minus plus x so plus 2 minus 2 cancels what left here x into this bracket x into 2 minus x left which is nothing but we multiply 
so if you multiply it will be 2x minus x square so on changing 2 minus x so we got what here the given uh, our f of x so this is complete is nothing but once again our f of x so we can say that f of x is therefore f of x is even in the interval 0 comma 2 so hence I can say that if it is even we can say that b n is 0 in the Fourier coefficients so therefore the Fourier transform is given by the Fourier transform for, sorry the Fourier series is given by f of x is equal to a naught by 2 plus summation n from 1 to infinity a n into cos of n pi x upon l ok but but as per the uh, uh, value of l l is 1 so therefore I'll rewrite our f of x as so f of x is equal to it is a naught by 2 plus summation n from 1 to infinity a n into cos of so value of l is 1 so it will become only what here n pi into x so this is our required Fourier series where we need to apply the value of a naught and a n so where the value of a naught is so value of a naught is 1 upon l 0 to l f of x dx and value of a n is 1 upon l 0 to l f of x into cos of n pi x into dx so we'll calculate one by one a naught as well as a1 then we'll apply in the expression uh, of equation one so we'll get what here the required Fourier series now we'll start now so now a naught is equal to the value of l is one so therefore it will become one upon one integration zero to one so f of x value is how much we have the given question f of x is uh, 2x square uh, 2x into uh, 2x minus x square into dx so we'll integrate this so 1 upon 1 is 1 leave it so therefore the a naught value will become on integration integration of 2x is what here 2 is a constant integration of x is x square upon 2 minus integration of x square is x cube upon 3 so limit from 0 to 1 so therefore 2 to cancel apply upper limit so a naught is equal to upper limit is out here 1 square minus 1 cube upon 3 upper limit and lower limit is 0 square is 0 0 cube is 0 so it is completely 0 so therefore finally so a naught value is out here 1 minus 1 upon 3 so on taking LCM so 3 minus 1 it will become 2 upon 3 so the value of a naught is out here 2 upon 3 so we'll apply this result later in the equation number 1 so with the help of this we'll go for the value of a n now so as we know that a n value is 1 upon l 0 to l f of x into cos of n pi x divided by l into dx so so as we know that the value of l is 1 so 1 upon 1 0 to 1 f of x is 2x minus x square and cos of l value is 1 so it will become n pi x into dx so for this so we need to apply so applying what here Bernoulli's applying 
Bernoulli's formula or Bernoulli's rule I can say so so this part 2x minus x square will consider as u and cos of n pi x will consider as v so therefore a n is equal to 1 upon 1 is 1 leave it so so 2x minus x square as it is so integration of cos of n pi x is nothing but it is sine of n pi x divided a differentiation of this n pi x is n pi minus differentiation of 2x minus x square is 2 minus differentiation of x square is 2x and 1 upon n pi you carry that is 1 upon n pi then integration of sin n pi x is nothing but minus cos of n pi x divided by n pi next so next term is because uh, this is again differentiable so plus minus next sign is plus differentiation of 2 minus 2 x is what here 0 minus 2 and 1 upon n pi and minus 1 upon n pi you carry so it will become minus 1 upon n square pi square into integration of cos n pi x is what here sine of n pi x divided by n pi but if you go next one more step differentiation of 0 minus 2 is uh, minus 2 differentiation of minus 2 is 0 stop it and say that it integration uh, limit from 0 to 1 so this step we need to understand and we need to write so what i will do here i will rearrange so a n is equal to 2x minus x square into sine of n pi x divided by n pi so minus minus plus so 2 minus 2x into cos of n pi x divided by so n uh, n in n in n pi into n pi it will become what here n square pi square then so here 0 minus 2 is minus so minus minus plus plus into plus is again plus so this will become uh, 2 times sine of n pi x divided by n square pi square into n pi it will become n cube pi cube so limit from 0 to 1 so limit from what here 0 to 1 so we'll apply upper and lower limit here so just i will not elaborate this so we'll go a little bit manual results so you can find here if i apply upper limit that is x is equal to 1 so sine of n pi sine of n pi is nothing but what here 0 we know that this result and if you apply lower limit sine uh, x is equal to 0 so sine 0 is again 0 so we know that sine of 0 is also 0 so i can say that if you apply upper and lower limit for this first term this will vanish anyhow so we'll write 0 next here if you apply it is possible but if sine comes if sine comes then for both upper and lower limit here also it is vanish so 0 so first and last term going to vanish only left what here middle term i will rewrite and apply so a n is equal to first i will rewrite that what is the first uh, middle term that is 2 minus 2 x into cos of n pi x whole divided by n square pi square limit from 0 to 1 or if you apply upper limit and lower limit what happens we'll see if you apply upper limit so it will become 2 minus so x value is 1 so 2 into 1 is 2 into cos of n pi into x value is 1 divided by n square pi square minus if you apply lower limit so 2 minus 2 into 0 is 0 into cos of 0 because x is 0 means uh, uh, n pi into 0 is cos 0 divided by n square pi square be careful while applying upper and lower limit so finally we'll get the a n value as so you can see that 2 minus 2 is 0 0 into this entire thing is also 0 so leave it 
so this will become 0 minus so 2 minus 0 is 2 cos 0 is 1 so we'll get what here uh, 2 upon n square pi square or so one small uh, correction I want to make here so what is that correction so here it is actually what your formula is a naught is 2 upon L because we are doing for uh, a naught so 2 upon L this is 2 2 so therefore uh, what we have here outside we have 2 2 so this 2 2 will get so on simplification we will get here 4 upon 3 this is 4 upon 3 I will rewrite it is 4 upon 3 because it is a even function or as well as odd for that both so here also it is 2 2 so here we are going to get 2 here so here also we will get outside 2 outside 2 outside 2 so here bracket 2 times so therefore I can say that finally on simplification we will get minus 4 divided by n square pi square so I can say that finally so a n is equal to minus 4 upon n square pi square so with the help of these values of uh, uh, a naught and a n will complete the Fourier series. We will see that Fourier series that is equation number 1 becomes. So this is our equation number 1. So here we will apply. So f of x is equal to a naught value we got how much here? 4 upon 3 this divided by 2 plus summation n from 1 to infinity a n is uh, minus 4 upon n square pi square into this cos of n pi x as it is so finally so on final simplification I can say that or else you can keep as it is or else uh, I will uh, elaborate one more step so f of x is equal to this uh, 2 ones are 2 twos are so it will become 2 upon 3 plus into minus is minus 4 times summation n from 1 to infinity cos of n pi x divided by this n square pi square. So this is a required Fourier series of the period 0 to 2L.